ancient Egyptians believed that the scarab beetles symbolized the restoration of life. They used depictions of scarab beetles as amulets, which are like good luck charms. They would wear ceramic, stone, or gold scarab beetles as necklaces, use them to stamp important documents, or send them as friendly gifts. Let's get started on making our own scarab amulet. Begin by drawing around a circle. As you get started with that circle, you might want to start thinking about using the idea sheet to help you as you begin drawing out your overall design. Notice that my project is mostly symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. So when I come up with a shape or a design on one side, I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side as well. Once I've got the overall shape of my beetle, then I took my pencil and started drawing in some different patterns, shapes, lines, or designs that would look really neat to balance out the rest of this open space. So take some time thinking about what kinds of patterns, shapes, or designs that you could utilize on the inside of your beetle as well as its wings. Maybe the beginning of the video showed you some different examples or different colors or different lines that you liked or incorporate some of your own, creating your own very unique piece of artwork. Once you get done drawing out your symbols, check for its symmetry. Is it the same on both sides? Do the very best that you can thinking about symmetrical balance as you begin drawing out your own scarab beetle. Let's go into the fun part now, adding on my metallic markers. When you get your markers out today, go ahead and go over all your pencil lines as well as drawing out or adding in some of your own unique creative designs into this part of the project. The metallic markers are just that. They really stand out nicely against this black sheet of construction paper. I love the way this looks. So go ahead and grab some of those markers and draw over top of your pencil lines so that we can see your work really stand out. Now that you are finished with your metallic Sharpies, I grabbed some of these metallic colored pencils to give it a little bit more variety of the metallic look. So instead of it always being quite so shiny for all of my detailed lines, I use some of these metallic colored pencils to fill in some of that black negative space. I feel like this really makes the project a lot more interesting to look at. At the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and review these steps so that you can see what a difference the metallic colored pencil makes into completing this project. Sure, it looks really great with metallic marker, but when you take these colored pencils to your work, wow, it really makes it stand out. I love the way this project looks. I hope you do too. Let's take a moment to review those steps once more. Take your pencil and start drawing out the beetle and the patterns that you would like. Outline with your metallic markers and then take it up a notch by taking some metallic colored pencils and filling in that black negative space. Thanks for watching and happy art making!